Alicia, what's up? Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you again for joining us, and thank you again, Mr. Zeph, for being here. You're welcome. We are at the JQ Mall, Artfully Crafted, upstairs, so that's where you find him. And today, of yeah. course, is DIY Friday. And we're going to have some extra, extra fun today because we are tie-dyeing, but we're using plant-based dyes. So mm -hmm. Mr. Z, of course, our expert. So he's going to tell us what we need, and of course, tell us how we made the dyes as okay. well. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we use four different types of, of plant material. This is uh, turmeric or chichima, mm -hmm. and that gives you nice yellows. This one is capesh, which is uh, a hardwood. And what I do, I take the shavings and I boil the shavings and let it soak for a while. This gives nice purples. And we have anato, which is a fruit that you can use uh, in your food. Um, that gives you nice reds too. And then this one, it's, I think everybody knows this root because most people use it, you know, as for medicine. And it's called sarsaparilla. And the same way you boil this and then you leave it for a couple of hours to soak. And then you get your dye. This one gives nice purples also. All right. Yes. Now there are other plants that you can use. You can use um, cinnamon. You, anything that can give a stain. stain, you can use for tie dye. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start by tying our little t-shirts that we're gonna tie dye, and we're gonna use rubber bands. Okay. You can use a uh, thread or any cord, uh, but rubber bands are easy to use and very quick to do. All right. So let's start by okay. This one I'm gonna start by pulling up the middle. And I'm just gonna create some. Keep tying it. Now you can do all types of patterns with this. You can put seeds inside of your uh, item, your article, and tie it. You can use uh, bottle caps. We're just gonna tie dye. Use. This is a very simple method. Uh, now I have a piece that was hand painted. But I, w I still want to tie dye it. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie it, and then we're going to dye it over the hand painted and see what happens. All right. Just oh, nice. an experiment. All right. So, okay, so now we have our tied pieces. This one is done in a spiral, and then just band up. So. And I'm going to be doing our bag from last week. Yes. I completed. So we're going to try that out. Too. Yeah. So now we're going to get our... This really, really steams. But this one, I'm going to just soak half. This one is the. This one smells really nice. The turmeric. Yeah. Okay, you go I'm ahead. I'm gonna dive in first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because look, it's 
and do not take one. Different material on one side of the country. <coughs> yeah, because look, it's. Do not take one. Different material on one side of the country. <coughs> so now I got progress That's somewhere. Nice. All right, so now that we have immersed our fabric in dye, now we're going to start by this one. I <coughs> We're going to start taking it apart. Okay, so once you take your rubber bands off, now it's the final. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's... One, two. Uh, this is the one that was hand painted. So you can see from I the white. That looks cool too. Yeah. And then we have the masterpiece. the masterpiece. Okay, so our bag from last week, people, which you can now do at your home. Make your bag and then tie dye it. So this is side one. And then, you know what's very interesting? This is side number two. So now I have a bag with a lot of personality. Yes. But mine made purple, go figure. And we all were <laughs> dipping in the same dye. So yeah. this is the beauty of it. You never know what What's, you're going to get. Yeah. All right. And we just used the turmeric and yeah. um, the catfish. Yes. So these are just two of the dyes that we use. So easy to do, <laughs> not expensive to, yes. to start off. So if you remember the bags from last week, go make your bag to get to your house. I'm sure everybody has turmeric in oh the yeah. cupboards, uh -huh. you know, so. And easy like that, this is how we DIY Friday tie-dye, plant-based materials. And there just again, add some personality. Yes, yes. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Just search DBS Morning Show. And of course, we have our expert always available at Artfully Craft at JQ Mall. And of course, we're going to be here next Friday, so you don't want to miss out. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's going to be even more exciting. Yes, yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Hey St. Lucia, thank you so much for coming back and if you're just joining us, thank you as well. You're watching This Morning, I'm Chayla Mendez, your host, and we're on the number one leader that is DVS. We had the Independence Film Festival take place and as we said, we're going to be showcasing these films. So we have yet another movie here celebrating why we love St. Lucia. Again, the theme was under I Am St. Lucian. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. With all that has been happening in society, it has become difficult to focus on what makes St. Lucia unique. Life after life abruptly ended by senseless violence, none of which makes any sense. This seems not to be the St. Lucia I know. This could not be the same St. Lucia. So the question must be asked, what has happened? At about 7 p.m. Tuesday, officers attached to the Criminal Investigations Department responded to reports of a stabbing in the community. 29-year-old Leroy Theophilus, who reportedly sustained multiple stab wounds, was rushed to Victoria Hospital. He was later pronounced dead. His sister, Ketra St. Mary, hastily proceeded to the hospital upon receiving news of the incident. 51-year-old Charles Augustine's lifeless body lay in the dirt underneath his home with two stab wounds to his left torso. He was pronounced dead by a medical practitioner. As police continue to investigate, law enforcement officers were reportedly in search of his son, who is believed to be mentally ill. His other son, Christopher Smith, alleges he woke up to the sound of a commotion Friday morning, prompting him to call out to his father. Upon no response, he decided to investigate and discovered a bloody Charles Augustine underneath the home they shared. 
Two young children, both under 12 years of age, reportedly alerted neighbors and relatives to their mother's bloody bedroom, where 29-year-old Sandrina Joseph laid motionless, inflicted with what appeared to be stab wounds. 26-year-old Jeffrey Abella, less than a foot away on the bedroom floor, was discovered lying face down, also with several apparent stab wounds. A little over 12 hours after gun violence claimed the life of 34-year-old Peter Daisy on Lower Mondador Road, not far away in Cedars, another Peter met his demise in similar fashion. According to reports, at about 5.20 a.m. Friday, a resident of the Castries East community of Cedars reported hearing someone scream twice, followed by the sound of gunshots. Peter Satney, 52, who also hails from the Cedars community, was the reported victim. Satney was reportedly on his way to his construction job as usual when he was gunned down. Police were summoned to the Grau River area at about 8 p.m. following reports of a suspected homicide. Dozens of people flocked to the area near the popular Rainbow Bar in the northern community, but the air was far from festive. These curious onlookers attempted to get a glimpse of the body laying on the stairs leading to the upper level of the dwelling home. Dead is 25-year-old Dylan Joseph. The cries of the deceased's only daughter was indicative of the gloomy shadow cast over the Mondor community. According to reports, 57-year-old Hippolyte Glasgow had earlier left his home for this community convenience shop and bar. He never returned. According to eyewitnesses, Glasgow was the unlucky recipient of bullets fired by an unknown individual who was in the process of fleeing the shop after perpetrating an armed robbery there. Homicide detectives and crime scene investigators processed the scene of St. Lucia's first triple homicide in 2017. Gillian Charles, 37, Kyle Richard, 16, and Daquan Joseph, also 16, were all congregated at a community bar and convenience shop at Boaden Jackmel late afternoon on January 8th. However, few Boaden residents suspected the evening would bring death and darkness for three local families that day. Allegedly, two gunmen indiscriminately opened fire, hitting human flesh, nearby homes, and parked vehicles in the middle of the residential neighborhood. Oh, you see you already, Gasa. I always warning you, Gasa. Don't touch my thing already. So, where my phone, Gasa? Where my phone? Okay, you come on to me thinking about your phone. I know, I know nothing about your phone. You come so, I know nothing about my phone. Gasa. What do you, Gasa? My phone was there charging and thing, Gasa. And now that my phone is um, there's go missing. I know nothing about your phone, brother, man. So, what do you, Gasa? Well, I go fly my neck for you, brother, man. Gasa, you go fly my neck, Gasa. Gasa, I ain't nothing with you, Gasa. What do you, Gasa? I feel you bad. Gasa, I know nothing about your phone. Let's burn me too, Gasa. What burn you, Gasa? My phone just go missing, Gasa. What do you? But well, my business is your phone, uh, so uh, you come and ask about your That's your business, my brother, man. That's that, that your business, so I'm to you, guys, sir. Uh, let's burn you, guys. Uh, Let me just burn you, guys. Uh, something go yeah. happen to you, guys, sir. Something go happen to you, guys. Ah, yeah. Everybody's a close to my money, sir. Give something. Give something, man. Give something. 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 Give you don't have to stop me now, you don't have to stop me now. Oh, die with me. You're not brothers, you check it. You're not to be friends with each other, man. That's a Ramiz, that's your brother, bro. Do not stop fighting for your brother, that's it. Even if you get angry, that's it, you're the bigger man. You have to put peace in the house, that's it. Alright? But every time, that's it. You man is always taking my thing. Gasa. It don't matter, man. You have to put peace. You don't have to. You don't have to resort to violence. Imagine I had a brother as a boy fighting the same way, you know. Well, yes, I can't talk to you like this. Wow. I want to hear a fight for you, here, as a fight for you, boy. So, my grandmother used to always talk to me, but I never understood what she was saying, you know. So until now, you know, as I get older now, I see what she was saying. I know you're angry right now with your brother, but you don't have to be, right? If you will calm yourself and just pray. My son, I've given you these words, prayer changes things. You would not want to listen to me right now, but if you try it, it will help. 
It's okay to be angry, but quarreling with your brother and getting all bitter inside is not worth it. So try to make things right with him. Okay, try to speak to him. And as you pray, God will help you. It doesn't pay to be that angry. Okay, my son, are you okay? Oh my God, I really hope she gets it. On town, drive by, dead. Never had the time to resolve to anything, man. Never. Do I regret it? You heard what happened? Yeah. Huh? You see what I'm trying to tell you? We cannot live like that with each other. Look at what happened. He just left them, went down the road, and he is no more. Right? Please, 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 I'm telling you. Okay, my son. Remember the elders, right? Them people have wisdom. They know what they're saying. And I want you to listen to what I am telling you. Check it. No matter what my brother do me, never get too um, upset with him. Now I remember, now I'm seeing what she's saying. But it's too late. I cannot bring my brother back. So what I want you to do, man, is to not, no matter what you see your brother do you, I say, no matter what, is your flesh and blood, remember that. Remember he's your brother. Remember, no matter how angry you are, don't allow material things or gang to come first place over your family. Remember, families are unique. We join together because that's what God made. This is what makes us unique as a St. Lucian. Family values are more important than material things. I'm telling you these things, you have to remember them elders, they have the wisdom and they're teaching us these things. So I want you now to listen to what I'm saying. I know I was very secure for food and thing, but that ain't nothing, Rasa. And you know we disagree and thing, Rasa, but like, my brother much better than us help one and thing. You check it? Let us never forget, in every circumstance, that life and family are much more valuable than any material possession. Let us always embrace the words and teachings of our elders, for in doing so, we will protect and maintain our peaceful and loving nature, which makes us uniquely St. Lucian. One man could change the world. So this was another submission from the Independence Film Festival. If you like it, please, of course, give your feedback. You can follow them on Facebook under the Caribbean Youth Film Festival page. That way you can follow all the action and go through the movies. If you've seen one that's your favorite so far that we've had, then, of course, you can go through it again and enjoy. So make sure you support. Give the love. We need to support our own.